Hello. Well, as you know, I'm going through all my storage and just trying to, to declutter my life. It's really, really tough. I mean, I've so many things here. Some, I'm, I'm trying to work out what has got value and what hasn't got a value. Um, it's not easy. I mean, for example, this. Now, this, these things new. I mean, they, they make them. This is, this is the Rolex, uh, the Rolex uh, massager. Uh, this is in the 70s, maybe? No, 80, probably early 80s. I love it. I mean, it's, 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 it feels really nice. It's very rubbery. <laughs> smells smells a bit mouldy, but it's, it is it's nice. And um, basically, what you do, you, you do that, and you get rid of all the negative uh, negative things or whatever it is that. What does it say? The simultaneous massage, however, of both the cellular tissue and the skin by different ways. That is to say, by rubber rolls for the cellular tissue, and by brushes for the for the skin, produces a healthy and pleasant effect upon your body. Um, yeah, I mean, it says it's, it's nice. I don't really want to get rid of that. It's beautiful. I can't get rid of that. I suppose I'm going to have to. Okay, now these. Now, um, as people people who know me well, I, I, I did want to have my own bar, like my dad had a bar in his house. So I bought these. Um, and they're lovely. I mean, this is a sixth of a jill. Obviously, it's no longer um, legal because we're now millilitres, but. In your own home, you can you can get away with uh, doing things that are slightly less legal. Sixth of a gel. Not I'm not I'm not opening a commercial premise. But then of course if I do, there's a 25 milliliter one there. <laughs> Gas and chambers. Um, that I suppose I can get into that. I'll, I'll happily get into that for five for each. Maybe 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 ten pounds for the lot of the three. So I'm happy to get into that. Now this this is a tiny touch up. Now, totally touch up, sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? But in fact, it's, it's a travel iron. Uh, 110 and 220 volts. Um, it's Bakelite, I think. It's, uh, it's nice. It's, you can plug it in, you can take it anywhere. Um, it's in good condition. It's barely been used. In fact, it probably hasn't been used. And it's still in this old, slightly mouldy bag. Ah, oh, now this is a thing of beauty. I can't, I, I can't sell this. I mean, if I sold this, it probably wouldn't fetch very much, but just look at it. This is a fan from, nine, uh, well, the, the company, the Taiwanese company, went bankrupt, I checked this up on the internet, went bankrupt in 1985, so it's at least before 1985. Uh, it's got a mirror, uh, it's got a thermometer. Um, look at that, it's a fan. It's, called, it's actually called the walk fan walk fan it's got a clock but i need to change the batteries for that it's got a torch check that out it's got a torch i guess it's perfect for camping perfect for glass and reefer perfect for glamping maybe i should sell it on a on a camping website on 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 but i don't want to sell it it's beautiful i mean that's just that just i can't sell that it's gonna be so hard. I mean, I, I mean, it's got replacement batteries and a replacement. Look, I've got a replacement watch battery there, and and oh, and this little, this little, um, this little uh, uh, straw. Um, you basically put uh, perfume, and you can put the perfume in these little four holes, so that when the fan goes on, you get this lovely smell. You can choose whatever smell you want. Ah, oh, now this. I used to love my slides, my two inch square slides. You used to put the slides in and as you put it in, it, make, it connects it and it lights up the lamp. Lovely. Unfortunately, it's probably, yes. Still got the batteries in it, they've all corroded. That will need a clean up. Um, I'll have to check the, the check everything's working okay. Um, again, I might get, might get a ten of that on eBay if I'm lucky. But the amount of times that I spent Looking at the slides of of Orlando um, Safari Park and all those different things that, that that I used to get from my grandfather to look at, it'd just be so sad to to, to, to to just get rid of it. This is the buttonier. I can't actually remember using the buttonier, um, but you, it, it's as seen on TV back then. It was one ninety eight. Obviously, this is a long time ago, so now probably worth quite a bit more. Uh, never been used. Uh, in five seconds, you it makes a button, or it, it attaches a button, or does something to a button. I don't know. I don't know. I've never used it. Never likely to use it. Okay, that one, that one definitely can go on eBay. I'm happy to let that go. 
possibly can. I'm lucky to make a five hundred from it. Now these things, these these things really annoy me because this I've kept since 1977. It is a it is a, to commemorate the silver jubilee uh, silver jubilee of her match. Uh, 25 years. I was told that this was worth quite a lot of money in the future, but it hasn't. I've looked it up on eBay. It's worth about two quid and I mean, they, they con you. Now these, these actually ha are worth a lot of money. I don't want to sell it. This is, this this one, This I used to play this a lot. That's 60 quid at the moment going on, on eBay. Lots of people bidding for it. Oh my God, what's that? Caterpillar. It's a dead moth. Anyway, um, used to have hours of fun. I've got my record there. I, I reached 11,960. Um, it's a calculator game, 60 quid on eBay. This one, at the moment, there's 11 people bidding for one of these, um, and it's up to 20 quid. But the hours of fun I had, for it, had with it, I just don't know if I want to get rid of it. But I probably will. But anyway, that's, that's basically me, at the moment, going through all my junk and trying to decide what's sellable, what to keep, and it's really, really bloody hard. So, um, oh, um, before I forget, this. This is an automatic clothes brush. Now this is proper vintage. You're not gonna get any of these in the shops these days, because it's just, you know, basically, you got, uh, you put a couple of uh, C batteries in there. A bit moldy. Um, and, um, and you turn it on and all the dust, well, I don't know how it works exactly, but you get a nice little travel patch, uh, travel pouch with it. It's lovely. It's a thing of beauty. Again, probably maybe get a tenner from that on eBay if you're lucky. But do I want to sell it for a tenner or do I want to keep it? It's really bloody hard. 